Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Today has been stream day and uh, for the activity today, <laughs> I've been roasting people. Now, this is just a concept I had a while ago and I brought it up as an option that was overwhelmingly voted on to be the, the pick for some reason because it included inviting my community to submit pictures of themselves with a piece of paper that says roast me jazza and I went through and roasted a whole bunch of people. I, I got through, I think like a, a dozen, I uh, know, 14. I got through a, of like 14 people and roasted them and I, I finished off with a, a bit of a placard myself just to make it a two way street. So you guys can look forward to roasting me. I'll release the picture when that video comes out, probably in a week or two. Um, but then that also might mean at some point in the future, uh, there'll be another video where I can go through your roasts of me. So that could be fun. In the meantime, I am about to wrap up the vlog, but not before they say hi. Hi, hi, hi vlog. Hi, hi vlog. Yay, you're all wonderful. Thank you for joining the stream today. Oh, by the way, this was also my first stream using the DSLR camera setup and the stream deck, which is, as I mentioned yesterday, super cool. I can press the buttons and go ding, and look, ding, ding. Press the buttons and go to the different things, oh, show my face and zoom it in, boom, press that, there you go. And uh, I guess in finishing off, it's time to use this lovely screen. So I'm gonna f first go to my face and say, thank you everyone so much for joining the stream. Uh, if you wanna see the, bit, the the inception with the vlog, watch tomorrow's vlog, cause, cause this is it. But in the meantime, it's time to go. So I'm gonna press the goodbye button and, uh, and that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. There you go. And my mic is muted and they got that. There you go. And I said goodbye. How cool is this thing? Anyways, that, that's the stream done. All right, so we've arrived at the end of the day and uh, I would have shown you some interesting stuff through the day, but there really hasn't been much because I've just been ebbing away at catching up on emails and a whole bunch of miscellaneous little tasks and stuff. However, I thought that uh, for today's sort of theme, so to speak, we could take one of the questions of the day and expand it a bit because it's stream day. I felt it would be fitting to take uh, Cookie, Cookie Love 03's question, uh, who said, can you do a video all about Twitch? How you set it up, what equipment you use, how you manage everything, or do a quick debrief, nothing in too in depth. Uh, so I thought it might be fun to actually just take you through a, a bit of a guided quickie tour of my streaming setup uh, and explain how I how I run all my streams and, and uh, the programs I use and all that stuff. Now I've shown you the stream deck in the last couple of vlogs, so I don't really need to go in depth into that. But the actual cameras, the programs, and all this stuff is probably something I could go into. So I'll show you all the software I use, all the hardware. I use and uh, maybe some alternatives that are a little simpler or cheaper if you're looking to sort of break into doing a similar thing without spending the budget that I've sort of spent over many years to build up some of the higher tech stuff. So starting off with hardware, I have my mic. This is a USB mic, which is super useful for streaming because you just plug it in and it, if you have good drivers and all that stuff, it's, it's really straightforward. This is a Rode uh, Podcaster. There's like the Yeti Blue is a popular streaming mic that's pretty cheap and it's a USB mic. So that sort of thing is really cool. And then this arm is a boom arm and it's called the Rode something. <laughs> the Rode P P201, I don't know, P something 01. Yeah, sorry, um, this isn't going to be a very professional walkthrough. Uh, if you just Google Rode Boom Arm, it's like the first thing that comes up. It's super reliable, and that's the reason I have three of them on my desk, because I got one, and I can't get enough of them. It's just the best one ever, although this is this one's a little squeaky, so no biggie. Uh, so I'm using other Rode Boom Arms, but this one's for my vlog, so it doesn't really count as a stream one. This one has a webcam on it which is, was for my face cam. Now that's more just for like a secondary angle am I to need it at some point in the future and just for Skype calls and stuff like that. And then this isn't a Rode boom arm. This is a blue boom arm. Same people who make the Yeti microphone. Um, and I got this one just because it is longer and seems less intrusive for some of the top down stuff. Uh, the Rode boom arm has sort of like different parts and it seems just like a little less clean than just something like this can this can reach quite a, a ways out. So 
again, this is just me being like super nitpicky with how I set up my equipment, but you can really do any of this with a cheap boom arm. This is just me being super, super fussy. Um, I have this extension that I've added to my top down webcam, which allows me to just tighten and loosen that and it holds its position. So I can loosen that, frame it, put my thing in position and then tighten it again. And then I've got my top down and I can angle it or whatever. Um, and the other thing worth noting is that where my face cam is a Logitech C920, which is a really, you know, it's a good one, but it's also very common. This is a Logitech C930E. This is worth pointing out because it's really frustrating to have two C920s or more because they use the same driver and every time you change one of them, it can potentially flip out the other. I learned this the hard way when I did the tabletop time streaming thing. So by using a C930E, I have a slightly more, uh, I, don't, I wouldn't call it industrial, but it's, it's a less consumer webcam, but it gives you more sort of under the hood, less pretty user interface when you're tweaking your settings, but it gives you more settings to tweak. And this is really useful for your top down camera, just because it means I can get like no flickering and, and just much better picture image quality of the drawings that I do, which is really important for me. Um, also, I'm using lately, and that moving forward, my GH5 camera for my face cam, and I'm using the HDMI out into a capture card in the computer. And I'm just gonna get the box because I'm not good at remembering stuff. The capture card is basically the in-computer version of this. So this is the, uh, oh, Elgato, Elgato capture card. So this one's the HD60. I have the HD60 Pro, I believe, in the computer. And then that HD60 is for future videos that I'll be using for PlayStation content or on the go content. Anyways, so that's all the hardware stuff. Aside from just a decent computer, that's all the, the main hardware. Anyways, let's uh, jump into the software side of things. Oh, I did forget to mention lights, which I activate with Google Home by saying, okay, we'll turn on the showtime lights. Sorry, I can't help. Mm, okay, she's not in the mood to do that today. That's the first time she's dissed me. Bitch. So there's my DSLR without lighting. Thanks, Google Home. Uh, and this is the Stream Deck that I mentioned, and it's super, super cool. All of these icons I custom made for my streams just uh, so that I can indicate what changes I want to make. And I have gone through all this, but I can't help myself because it's super cool. You can mute and unmute on the go, the sound. And there's a whole bunch of awesome stuff you can do with this thing because it's not limited to streaming and it's not, not limited to um, these functions. Functions. You can actually use this as a macro keyboard, essentially. You can use this with any program and assign a whole bunch of different functions and have all of these within folders. So have essentially unlimited like sets of, of customizable keys. So that, that's really cool to point out. But I use it just to change the camera angles. So as I press them, it uh, just makes it super easy where I could make these changes uh, just by pressing the buttons, you'll notice that it's switching between them here. Uh, but when you're on the go, especially when you're trying to sm smoothly stream and rapidly transition or react to things around you, you really want to be able to just make a few quick changes on the go, especially if you like really need to pee, <laughs> you can just go like, okay, gotta go guys, be back in a sec, ding, 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 and then come back, or you can you know, end the stream, or if uh, the postman knocks, you can just mute it, turn your face cam off, and then just quickly go answer the door, and then turn it back on, and then you're back on. So that's really cool. Now this is XSplit. This is a, a, uh, a paid, broadcaster program. Now, OBS is a free broadcaster program and with plugins, it can be as good and functional as XSplit, but XSplit is just way better out of the box. So if you're looking for simplicity and cleanliness and awesomeness just from the get-go, I highly recommend XSplit. However, a lot of people swear by OBS, so I can definitely say that it's great too. I use OBS on my other computer when I do virtual reality and all that stuff. So it's definitely great, but I prefer uh, XSplit just for the, the presentation of the way I can set up my streams personally on this thing. So I really like that. Uh, otherwise, that's, that's pretty much it. You basically set up your camera angles in here and you can just like tweak. You can see that I've got my DSLR set on top of my webcam so I can switch between them. If I'm having any problems, I can just quickly go to, to a backup. 
But that's sort of it. That's that's my stream setup. Otherwise, you just sort of hook it up to whatever settings you want. I have mine recording in QHD just so I can scale it down and keep a good resolution or crop in as I need to. And you just link it to your various accounts. And so mainly I just use Twitch and local recording and uh, it ex exports it to your video file. So there you go. That's the tour of my epic stream setup. Anyway, that's it for today. That's the question of the day done, I guess, because it's a bit of a big stream to us. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the setup in action. Uh, I am going to be dabbling in the office tomorrow and then I'm out of the office later tomorrow with some meetings to sort out a bunch of stuff for Project uh, Baked... No, not Baked Bean. I've revealed Baked Bean. Project Hot Potato. <laughs> God damn it, super project names. Uh, and I will also be in the city for the, the next few days after that. So I don't know if I'll be vlogging um, after tomorrow, but I'll play it by ear. But uh, yeah, whatever I do, hope you enjoy coming along for the ride when that happens. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you then. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me today. Bye. Uh, Are you going to do us a dance? Are you going to do us a tap dance? Ready? Tap dance. Tap dance, tap dance, tap dance, very good. Oh, wow, what a pro! You tip your hat, man. This boy's got style, silly dada. Ready, show me your style. Tap 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 dance, tap 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 tap. <laughs> Pick up your phone. Oh. <laughs> You're interrupting the groove. <coughs> you threw off my groove. <laughs> tap to tap tap to tap 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 tap. Say ta da. All right, how are you going? Good. <laughs>